Ah, she's right. She's always right. I do. I got to work on it. I hate having a temper. You know, I don't know if it's hereditary. I don't know if it's part of the country I'm from. I've always snapped. You know, my dad was like that. My dad's the greatest dude I ever met in my life. And he had a temper. Anytime anything broke in the house, five minutes into fixing it, he was bitching about his marriage. <laughs> it was hilarious. He'd see something broke. Oh, Christ, will you look at that? God damn it, Billy. Give me that fucking screwdriver. I swear to God, I don't know what the fuck I ever got married for. <laughs> 13 goddamn years of this shit. Ah, oh, you're a bitch, lady. You've been a bitch for years. Give me the pliers. Yeah, most guys would have left by now. Most guys would have left by now. <laughs> that was one of his catchphrases. Most guys would have left by now, and you don't know how fucking good you got it, lady. Yeah, when I was a kid, I thought he was nuts. Then I got older, you know, started dating. I realized, eh, this guy's making a lot of good points. <laughs> He's not expressing them in the healthiest of ways. I gotta be honest with you, I'm kinda, I'm kinda like jealous of the way my dad gets to talk to my mom sometimes. You know, where are all those old school women you can just take your day out on? You know, <laughs> when did they stop making those angels? who just knew it had nothing to do with them. They just sit there and let you blow out the lines, right? What a luxury, right? To fail all day, you come home and download all your insecurities on this other person. How was your day? How the fuck was your day? I'm out here making decisions. Keep these kids away from me. Give me a goddamn drink. Oh, with the tears. Then the bra burning generation came in, right? Now you get to sit there and listen to their stories all the time. Oh, it's the worst. You know what's the worst is when they're telling you a story and you want to listen, but just what they're talking about, you can't even retain it. <laughs> so I'm supposed to go out to lunch with Jennifer. I'm all ready to do that. I show up, she's there with Susan. She knows I hate Susan. I look like shit. Susan's been going to the gym. I mean, at that point, your head is like a newborn baby. You're trying to, <laughs> you're trying to hold it up. You know, you can't. Even if you're trying to pay attention, you can't. Then you just start staring at their mouth after a while. Like, I can't believe it keeps coming out. This is fucking unbelievable. <laughs> it starts fading off. <laughs> you start thinking about your own life, right? Why did I take Nebraska given 28? What the fuck is wrong with me? It's an away game. All of a sudden, her voice goes, it goes up, right? You're like, ah, oh, fuck, that was a question. All right, now what do you do? Can't say yes, you can't say no, you gotta come with something neutral. Eh, what the fuck are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> it is what it is, you put one foot in front of the other and uh, you know, halftime adjustments, uh, got nothing. <laughs> no. I don't wanna make my dad out like a psycho, man. My dad's the best dude I know, man, but you know, I, I understand him though. You know, he's like the exact opposite of me. You know, I planned out my life a little more, right? That's why I never got married. Never thought about getting married. It just looked horrific. It looked really difficult. It looked like a lot of them failed. Then if you had a kid, you have that whole weird situation, right? You got this thing that half looks like you, half looks like somebody you used to love and now want to slap the shit out of, right? <laughs> Kids coming up to the walk, you're like, son, just look to the right a little. Let me just kind of cheat. But dad, I want to look at you. <laughs> it's brutal. My dad was the exact opposite. Fell in love, got married, just started having kids. Had five kids by the time he was 33. Pre-Oprah, pre-Dr. Phil, pre-Chicken Soup for the holy fuck. I got five kids. I don't even know who I am yet. The pressure of that. Feeding all those kids, man, I'm telling you. Every three, four days, he would just snap. Just snap out of nowhere, you know? Can you pass this all down? You fucking bitch, how the fuck ever get married for this bullshit? <laughs> Boom, he'd slam the door, have the car in third gear by the time he got it to the end of the driveway. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> My mother would always do the exact same shit. Just lock the door behind him, turn around, look at the kids, and just be like, <laughs> Man, he's just crazy. He's just a crazy person. What is wrong with him? Eight hours later, he'd show up, no apology, she'd have dinner ready. She messed it up, he'd give her a rough time. Christ, you cooked the shit out of it! <laughs>